So a small town in New Hampshire, Conway, New Hampshire, is threatening a donut shop because of a mural they have depicting donuts on their building. So what's going on? So today what I want to do is just talk about this case because it just came up. Right now I'm recording this in February and the case was filed in January of 2023. So I think it's super important mainly because it will affect myself when it comes to mural art. A lot of us artists will run into different uh, ordinances and different codes and different laws in different cities that will affect us whenever we create artwork because every city is going to be different. And I really want to do a video mainly because it is important, the outcome of this case. So the case is about this donut shop in small town Conway, New Hampshire, uh, the owner, Sean Young. And I'm using footage from the Institute for Justice who did a profile. That's where the footage comes from. But they went over to talk to Sean Young who owns this uh, business called Levitt's Bakery. And Levitt's Bakery is in a building that he bought that was an old bakery and he wanted to continue the, uh, I guess the tradition of the building being a bakery. So he opened up Levitt's Bakery and he had this space on the building where he had space for a mural to be created. So a local high school uh, art class reached out to him about painting a mural on that substrate, on that surface of the building. And what they came up with was a New England mountainscape and the mountains are comprised of donuts. So all the mountains are donuts. And that is the mural that is on the building right now. Everyone loved it, he loved it, the kids loved it, the community uh, apparently loved it, but the city did not. And that is because when code enforcement came around, they said he was in violation of the city ordinance when it comes to signs and mural. According to the city, they said it was a sign, not a mural. And that is because he had donuts depicted in the mural. And because he sells donuts, the mural became a sign rather than just artwork. So if this this mural was on, let's say, a, a car maintenance shop, you know, a laundry mat, you know, a different Thai restaurant, or it could be an Italian restaurant. But because they sold donuts and the artwork depicted donuts, then it's a sign. So if he didn't have donuts in the actual artwork, then it would be allowed, it would be considered artwork. But because he had donuts and he sells donuts, then it is a sign. So he went to the city officials and basically pleaded his case. The community came out and supported him and the city still said it is a sign it needs to come down and now they're fining the business $275 a day if the mural stays up. So Sean Young got the Institute for Justice to get involved and they sued the city on behalf of the business and said that hey the government can't decide uh, whether it is artwork or whether it is a sign, it violates his constitutional First Amendment rights. And that is really big, mainly because when muralists and artists are doing work in public on buildings, especially for businesses, you know, you get into this sort of situation where you have to comply with different city ordinances. Every city is going to be different. Some cities are easier to paint in than others. So every artist that has traveled around will be familiar with sort of the idea of having to go through committees to get things approved um, so that it's not signage and it's more advertising. So artists like myself who do murals everywhere run into this a lot, uh, especially when we're working with businesses. So Denver, where I am, and especially the neighborhood where I am, we cannot just go out and paint signage or advertising on the sides of buildings, we have to go through the city. As an artist, I'm like, hey, why can't I just paint on the wall? It's gonna be artistic. But as someone that understands where the city is coming from, you don't want to have advertising pollution or you know just an overabundance of signage because you know we all hate spam when it comes to our emails and when it comes across our feed when we're on social media you don't want that in your neighborhood uh, because if people can go through loopholes uh, when it comes to considering it artwork or murals and it's really just advertising for their business then it becomes a murkier situation with the pollution of signage and 
advertising all over the place. So I do understand where both sides are coming from and I can see that, especially being a muralist myself. And I'm always aware of what I put up on walls and where I put it up on walls and what is the intent of the mural itself. I don't want it to be an alcohol ad disguised as you know, a mural or something artistic when all it is is just really selling alcohol or selling any sort of product. In this situation, it seems like it's really in the middle where the owner of the business, Sean Young, who owns the donut shop, didn't tell the students or the kids what to paint. So for me, it's always a case by case basis. It's always subjective, but through the city's eyes and perspective, because the mural depicts donuts and the donut shop is in that building, then they consider it a sign and consider it something that you would have to go through the city to get approved. So I'm really interested in learning more about the case and how it unfolds because this will have a profound effect, you know, depending on whether the city can't tell you what is and is that signage if it's a mural or they say hey the city can say this is a signage whenever they want to your constitutional first amendment rights weren't violated so when there's updates on this case i really want to do another video um, just to share exactly what's happening because it is going to have like I said, a huge effect on my practice and many of your practices as well when it comes to doing murals and public art in your city and in other cities as well. In the description below, I'll have links to the Institute for Justice and sort of where I found some of these materials so that you can look more into it as well if you're interested in learning more about it. And then I will, like, like I said, I'll have updates as much as I can because it is going to be a really interesting um, sort of case when it comes to what happens to mural arts and what the city can and can't tell you what to paint. All right, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you next time. Peace.